All right, Jasmine, they invited us to do a TED Talk. Ooh. And everybody loves a TED Talk. Everybody. TED is a stage where people have taught us how to explain our procrastination, vulnerability. Somebody on program today talking about racism and virtual reality. Even in virtual reality, Jesus. Girl. <laughs> the point is, a lot of important things have been shared on this stage. So you know everybody backstage is nervous because they don't know what's about to come out of our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> and rightly so, because we aren't just trying to give y'all ideas worth sharing. We are also trying to be on Beyonce's next album like fellow black girl and TED Talk alum, Chimamanda Adichie. So excuse us as we prepare our hearts and minds for that kind of black excellence and culture shit. I received that. So to center ourselves, Amber and I like to indulge in woke yet relaxing guided meditations. Yes. And we would like to invite you to join us in an exercise from your seat inspired by freedom fighter Samantha Master. All right. As we center our joy. All right, let me get on my Ayana Super Soul Sunday voice. <clears throat> now, as you are able, beloved, so I want you to close your eyes. And from your seat, make sure your feet are planted on the ground and sit with your back straight. Yes. <laughs> and with attention to your breathing, I want you to breathe in and out under the, the direction of our voices. Mm. You ready, Amber? Very ready. All right, let's go get them. Breathe in eight years of a black family in the White House. Breathe out the administration Ted explicitly told us not to talk about today. <laughs> Breathe in black joy. Breathe out the need to silence or tone police it as we talk about it with you all today. Breathe all of get that out. out. Your system, Just get it out now. It's bad on the lungs. Just get it out your system. Whew. So now that we are centered in our joy, I want you to think about the thing that brings you the most joy. My name is Amber J. Phillips, the high priestess of black joy. And I am Jasmine Walker, the king of the South. And you are about to listen to the, the blueprint, blueprint for the, the black, black joy era. era. Now, you might be asking yourselves, why is there a black joy and not just joy? And the answer is quite simple. White, White people, people have, have no self-control. <laughs> now, that might be alarming for a few of you. I don't know why. But if you consider the annihilation of indigenous people, um, the fact that white folks stole millions of black people against our will and forced us on the boats to come over here and build this country too. And then have the nerve to make it sound like a hiking trail or like teen angst or something by calling that mess Metal Passage. Girl, the KKK, mass incarceration. Phew, and that is just the recent past. When you think about what folks have done to Brooklyn, Oakland, et cetera, what y'all trying to do to the sacred land of Standing Rock. It's crazy. So, I know this talk may already have you feeling uncomfortable, but that's okay. Because some of the most powerful ideas worth sharing are also the ones that confront us. Plus, honestly, black people, this one is for us. Yes. Yes. Telling hard truths through comedy, with dignity, and with flair is the work that we do as black women in America on our weekly podcast as political commentators on the, the Black, Black Joy, Joy Mixtape. Hey, what it do? Ow. Black Joy is birthed from our rage as well as our joy. Now, Black Joy means a lot of things to a lot of people, and we represent just a couple of those folks. Like for me, I love to bring people together for a celebration, aka a turn up. My love for seeing Black people together, eating, laughing, hugging, and dressed to our best comes from growing up in my Black Baptist Church in my hometown of Columbus, Ohio. 
Most Sundays, you can find me behind my grandmother, a.k.a. the love of my life, Mary Alice Phillips, because every Sunday was a celebration, often followed up by dinner featuring some of my favorite foods and stories delivered by some of the greatest storytellers I have ever met, like my mother, Miss Carol. Now, as an Ohioan building my home in Washington, D.C., I yearn to find the type of community that I grew up with. So I searched for my tribe and I found them. And they happen to be some of the most dynamic, revolutionary political or and cultural organizers this generation has ever seen. They are black, cis, trans, queer, funny, bold, stylish, and loud people who also enjoy turn up. So when my grandmother passed away in 2015, I wanted to make her celebrations that meant so much to me a regular part of my life. So my home became affectionately known as Black Joy Headquarters or the place where black people were welcome to hold space as we collectively mourned and gave each other permission to be our best and blackest selves, to create, to dance over home-cooked meals, brown liquor, and trap music, <laughs> to hold on for just another day to keep demanding justice. And at these iconic Black Joy Turn Up. And I do mean iconic because folks like myself were traveling across multiple state lines to get to these parties. We honored <laughs> our humanity for ourselves in a world that refused to do so. And in reflecting on these celebrations, I pinned what Black Joy means to us. Black Joy is the right to celebrate, the right to relax, and the right to love free from oppression and violence. Now, consider what brings you the most joy. For me, it's when I hear cash money records taking over for the 9-9 <laughs> of the 2000, which is the opening lines to the Southern Hip Hop classic, Back, Back That, that ass, ass Up. up. <laughs> As a black girl from Jackson, Mississippi, I have heard that beat drop for almost 20 years, and I promise you, I bust it open like it's the very first time every time I hear it, okay? <laughs> I have twerked everywhere to back that ass up. <laughs> From my middle school gym to my college graduation after party with my best friends Jonathan, Holly, and Jay, to right before I got on this stage with Amber. And you know it's true. Back That Ass Up has not only been the soundtrack for my coming of age, it has helped me express the joy and love I feel for myself and my body as a big fine woman who twerks. <laughs> Twerking, created and popularized by black films over centuries, allows us to affirm ourselves as we arch our backs, move our knees, ankles, and feet simultaneously as we thrust to the beat. However, we don't always get to twerk in peace. <laughs> Twerkers, or people who decide to indulge in this amazing dance are not granted the full humanity of those who decide not to. You know how it is. When women and femmes are doing things not under the male gaze, they try to use it to justify sexual harassment, rape, and the overall disrespect that we have to endure in our schools, jobs, and on our streets. Twerking is a celebration it is not an invitation for harm, touch without permission, or assumptions about my career aspects or sexuality. <laughs> Hello. So when we asked you to think about the thing that brings you the most joy, what did you see? Black joy is the right to turn up. That was the case for Jordan Davis, who was murdered because his music was too loud by Michael David Dunn. Black Joy is the right to relax. That was the case for Sandra Bland, who died in police custody because she refused to put out her cigarette. Black Joy is the right to love. That was the case for Todd Underwood, a black trans woman who was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Carlton Ray Champion, who murdered her after she decided their relationship was over. Black joy is our right, and we deserve to feel it free from oppression and violence, especially in our communities. 
That is why we must also remember that white people's treatment of us should never be the standard for how we treat each other. Anybody can get dragged in these streets, especially serial rapists who are on tired, syndicated sitcoms. Anyone can get this work if they are a detriment to black joy. That is why black joy is our right. And black women, black women, that is why we must um, not believe in the difference between black cis women and black trans women as if all women have the same experience anyway. The term cisgender simply means that I will agree with the gender that was assigned to me at birth. The doctor said it's a girl, my mom said, yeah, a girl, and I agreed with it as I formed words and grew into it. So that is why when the first time I was called cis, I felt attacked, but that can be further from the case. Being aligning cis with my gender is an opportunity to interrogate my own gender performance so that we can be in solidarity with one another because there is no difference and systems are oppressing all of us. Right now, the leading cause of death for cis and trans black women is intimate partner homicide. Cis black women must be committed to fight with trans black women and abandon this notion of scarcity or, at, or a friend like black womanhood is finite or that is only designated for a chosen few. We must be committed to dismantle white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. And I know that big term just got y'all <laughs> caught up, but white supremacist capitalist patriarchy just means that how all of us can uphold systems of oppression regardless of our gender, race, or sexuality if we're not careful. James Baldwin once wrote, thank you. James Baldwin once wrote, I was not born to be a slave, nor was I born to hope to become equal to the slave master. We don't want just joy, we need black joy. And though everyone is not granted full access to black joy, just like not everyone is invited to your mama's kitchen. And certainly don't come out up in there without washing your hands. Black joy has a seat at the table for everyone. Right. And that is why now is the time to center black joy. Because like our friend and fellow magic practitioner, Malaya Davis says, this, this is, is about, about generations. generations. Join us as we center black joy. Because Asada Shakur already told us, we, we have, have nothing to lose but our chains. I am Amber J. Phillips, the high priestess of black joy. And I am Jasmine Walker, the king of the South. And you just listened to the, the blueprint, blueprint for the Black, black Joy era. era.